Hi, I'm Jeff Kozlerik, Advertising and Communications Manager for Furuno USA. Thanks for joining us in this video on how to create routes and waypoints on your Navnet 3D system. This video is a basic video that will go over the essentials that you need to get started with creating waypoints and routes on your system. If you have not gone over the keyboard video, it's a good time now to go back and go through that video because that will give you the basic layout of the keyboard for Navnet 3D so you have a better understanding of the keys that we will be using in this video. So let's get started, I'm going to turn this over to Matt Wood. Thanks, Jeff, and thank you for tuning in to our video on points and routes today. When we talk about points, note that we'll be using the term points and waypoints fairly interchangeably, although we do mean the same thing. When we deal with points and routes in Navnet 3D, we want to be able to use all of the advantages that Navnet 3D and the keyboard provides us. Note that I'll be doing much of the demonstration in this video on the MFD-12 here. The keyboard layout of the MFD-12 is identical to that of the MFD-8. And the buttons of these keyboards are the same, although the layout is different, as on the MFDBB or black box keyboard to my right. To begin navigating using points in Navnet 3D, the simplest thing we can do is to create a new point, and the easiest way to do this is to use our points button. On the screen of the MFD-12, I'll move my cursor to a point that I want to go to and simply hit point. This point is created with a numerical name that is the next in sequence after the previous points that were created. The next thing that I may wish to do is to delete a point if I have no more need for it. The way that I do this is also with the cursor, and I can do this with any point that I create, no matter how I create it. To delete a point, I simply move my cursor on top of the point. You'll see the point highlight or pop. I'll use my right mouse button or right click. My final option in that menu is to delete. I use my roto key to select and highlight delete and press and the point is deleted. Again, this can be done for any point that I create, regardless of how I created it. Another really frequently used way of creating points is using the Save and MOB button. The Save MOB button is a dual function button. A short press will save a waypoint directly under my boat position when I press the button. A longer press of two seconds will create a man overboard point or man overboard waypoint that will remain on screen in a distress situation, such as a man overboard, until I remove that MOB waypoint from memory. When boating, a very popular way of entering points is to receive a radio call or perhaps a cell phone call from a friend who provides numbers in either lat long or TD for me to proceed to. The way that I enter numbers on the MFD-12 or any of the Navnet 3D MFDs is very simple. Here I'll use my go to button. I can begin anywhere on screen with the cursor and simply hit go to. The go to press provides me two options. One, a direct go to or go to by position. In this case, I'll use my roto key to select enter by position and I'll validate that position as my friend provides the numbers to me. I advance two digits at a time until the number is complete. Note that the default number is the position of the cursor on screen when it started. You can see that when I've created that point by numbers, that it automatically creates a single waypoint route. That single waypoint route automatically scales the screen and proceeds me down the line to the numbers that I've selected. It's important to note that when we're entering numbers for waypoints, we can use the roto key as I just did, or there are some external devices we can use as well. A USB mouse, or a 10 key keyboard, or in fact a full QWERTY keyboard can be used, and these may be wired or wireless. This is the easiest way to enter numbers quickly and on the fly. Now let's look at some additional ways that we can enter points and waypoints by numbers. Here I'm going to use the roto key and the list button in combination to be able to access my points and routes. I will simply push and hold the go to and list button to access my list. Immediately my alphabetical list of waypoints pops up. The other tabs across the top of the screen you'll see are general, local, group, and icon. Those are features that we'll cover in a later video. 
For me to create a new point from this menu, I'll simply press my roto key twice to select the new bar at the top of this list. A simple press there creates a new point, and note that it does create this point under my boat position right now. I can change any of the attributes of that point in the list to the right. And we'll cover those attributes in a later video as well. Once I've created this list, simply by pressing OK, I've created what is now point zero 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 five under my own boat position. And now we've accessed a very powerful and actually very cool feature of Navnet 3D. And that's our mini plotter or our preview window. Here in looking at our alphabetical list on the left hand side of the screen, we see all of the points that have been created in this MFD. On the right, we see that point relative to the electronic chart. I can actually create a preview of any of the points created simply by going to that point and seeing it pop up on the screen to the right. If we continue to leverage the power of the keyboard of Navnet 3D, there's another way that we can create a new list or access our previous lists of points. In this case, I'll grab the roto key and advance to the points button. A single press of the roto key gives me the option of accessing the alpha list or the local list. In this case, as before, I'll access my alpha list. This is a very easy way to point and shoot to my list of points. A double press of the roto key enters my list. Again, we see the preview window or our mini plotter pop up on the right. If I want to preview any of the points that have been created in the past, I simply advance to that point. I can select that as a go-to, a new point, or I can go to that area of the electronic chart. Now we'll take a look at creating a point, but creating a route at the same time. And here we'll go back to the go-to button. I move my cursor on screen to any point on the screen that I'd like to advance to. I push go to, and again, I'm given the option of a simple go to or go to by position. In this case, I'll use the roto key to select go to. And you'll see on screen that creates a single point or single waypoint route. It automatically scales the screen to a scale appropriate to advancing along that route. Now that I've created that single waypoint route, if I wish to discontinue navigation or cancel navigation, it's as easy as using my cursor to highlight the route. With the cursor on the route, the route will highlight or pop. I use my right click button and I cancel the route. And I've returned to free navigation. Now you'll notice in this Navnet 3D video that so far when I've dealt with points and routes, I've dealt primarily in two dimension or a traditional top-down chart presentation. But the product is called Navnet 3D, and it's called that for the simple reason that Navnet 3D operates in native 3D all the time. And what I've shown you with point and route navigation so far can be done not just in 2D, can be done in 3D as well. So we'll take a look at how that's done. I'll use my Ship 3D button to shift my screen into 3D presentation. In this case, a perspective view above the vessel. Now, Navnet 3D is the only multifunction device on the market right now that allows you to actually create points and routes and make real-time navigation decisions in native 3D. We'll show you how simple this is. Again, I'll grab my cursor button and I'll put the cursor anywhere on the screen that I wish to proceed to. And I follow the same procedure. I pr press my go to button. I'll use my roto key to invoke the go to, we see the screen automatically scale, appropriate to that single waypoint route that I've created, all in 3D with single button presses. Building routes on screen with Navnet 3D is very easy too. I'm going to use a very similar procedure with a slightly different button to build a multi waypoint route. Here, I'll advance the cursor to the point on screen where I want to start my route. I will push and hold the points and routes button until the first point of that route is created and we see the menu prompt come up at the top part of the screen. I'll advance the cursor to where I want to lay the next waypoint and I'll lay that waypoint down using the left mouse button or the center of the cursor pad. I create that point and here we'll create a simple route laying down three or four waypoints. Each time I want to confirm a point, I simply press left mouse and note that the cursor will automatically advance in the same direction it was headed when I selected the last point. 
When I want to validate that route, I simply push the roto key and the route is created. To return to my ship position to see the beginning of that route, I simply push ship and return to my own ship position. Deleting a route is just as simple as deleting a point. Here, I'll use my cursor and my right mouse button to delete this route. Simply move the cursor pad to any leg of the route. As soon as the route highlights, I can now right click and the third option from the end is to delete that route. I simply press the roto key and the route's gone. Now that I've created the route, some of the other things that I might want to do like insert a point or move a point, name some of those points can also easily be done on screen in Navnet 3D. Now we'll cover that material in a later video. There are a couple of different ways to access our lists of routes. I can use my lists button or I can use the roto key and I'll show you both. If I press and hold the list button, I'll immediately come to my alphabetical list of waypoints. You'll notice on the left hand side of the menu bar, we have points and then routes. If I advance down my menu column one to routes, I can now access my entire list of routes. I can also access this list from the roto key and we'll show that now. I'll simply grab my roto key, advance to the routes button, and one of the options here is to access my list. I press list and I'm immediately presented with my list of routes. Thanks for joining us. This concludes our basic video for points and routes. We hope that you'll come back and join us for an advanced feature as well.